crate raiders, man. We raid crates. Y'all know how it goes down. DJ Ken Cut, Sammy Cook, my man Jazz, Crate Raiders crew in the building, and we raiding the crates today. And y'all happen to be lucky to be along with us. If y'all know this spot right here, then y'all know what's behind these doors. Only a few cats know this too. But, you know, if you do, cool. If you don't, only thing I would tell you is that it's West Philly, because I don't want you here when he not here. Understand? It's going down, I'm gonna knock on the door, and y'all can see who crib this is. It's official though, let's go. That's a prize. Great rate of crew. Ah, y'all see. That's right. Uh, DJ Grew the most. What's happening, good brother? Super good genius right. in the building. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't checked the podcast. I need to check that out. You know what I mean? So we here, we raiding the crates. Let's go up in, see how it goes down. Come on. Get some of this flavor. Going down, look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Swear it goes down, folks. We here, you know what I mean? Right here, man. Super Genius Studios is crazy. Rhythm Central. Rhythm Central, yeah, that's AKA, what it is? Yeah, AKA Angela's Garage. Oh, man. Wow. Same. You know what I'm saying? So we here, and you know, we here to raid the crates, man. Just be straight honest with you, man. What you got for us, man? What's, what's the first joint you got for us? Well, this joint right here, fan this since like 81. The album's called Eagles Long Run. But make no mistake, the track's not called Long Run, the okay. album. People get that confused sometimes. Uh, Actually, it's the second cut on here. Number two, those shoes. Those shoes. Yeah, the specialty part about this joint, I remember back in the day, I had to have this joint right here, man. This one of them joints where if you play it at 33, it sounds like this. We never rocked it at 33. We rocked it at 45. And it went a little something like this. <laughs> okay. Word. This is my all time joint, man. Like your all time? Well, this was my favorite joint because it was like hard to find back in the day. Right. And it was like people was just dying to have this joint. And the thing is, you didn't get too squirmy with it, because you usually have MCs rock up this. So it was always a smooth cut. Mm.
Long Run. Let's get that right, first of all, yes. people. You know what I mean? The album's called Long Run. The cut is not Long Run. Yeah. All right? Get that official. Now, now Rue, when, when did you say you picked this up? Uh, man... I might have picked this joint up then. It's like 81, 82. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you remember how you got it? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the funny thing about that joint, um, my cousin used to live right around the corner from me. He had the crazy record collection. So I'm like, I used to just go through his joints all the time. Especially in the 81. Yeah, that's yeah, all you yeah. had was wax. And 81. I found this joint in there. And it was like, oh, hold up, this is dope. So usually what I would do, I would run right out and get two copies, of, you know, if I could find it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I went about the joint. I actually, yeah, I've had that, I had that since like 81. Yeah, 80, 81. Okay. Or not. First time, first time you found it and you got it. I know, you know, there's a feeling attached to it. Yeah. First time you rocked it somewhere and, and pulled it out, what was the what was the situation or what was the uh the response? Block party. Block party, block party. Uh -huh. Banging system, they used to have these guys called the Funk Pumpers living around the neighborhood. They had like the banging sound system in, the, in Philly. And I threw this joint on, man, and it was like the mm -hmm. cats were mm -hmm. See how that joint was banging? Like, <laughs> boom, boom, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. So you can imagine. My yeah. man, some. Yeah. Soren Vegas? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. All right, so, you know, basically what I want to do now, man, is. I want to reach into the collection and, and just pull out something and, and, and just see what it is. You know what I mean? Right, you, got, you got a particular section you want me to go? Or you no, know? I mean, go for it, man. Whatever you feel All like right. you want. You know? All right, let's see. All right. What is this? Oh, yeah. Right. Now, this joint right here, it's Les McCann. Les McCann? Yeah. All right. Got a lot of his stuff. Um, in particular, it's like. I got a lot of sample material from this. Okay. Like it's not like any Les McCann joint, but this one right here, you know. And the crazy thing is, this is actually from my mom's wow. stash. You wow. know, this is yeah. <laughs> I, I snatched this from like raiding her crates, you know. So this is actually her stash and like back in the day I used to just needle drop on all the stuff for yeah. us. But what's the what's the joint off of there? Um I wouldn't say anything that anybody used. Right, right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it, the song in particular? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of, it's nice. Yeah. Melody, melodic joint. I chopped that joint to pieces. Oh, wow. word. Yeah. And. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, nice joints. Yeah. I'm gonna run around town, everybody. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. But the yeah. that's what I'm saying. How long you had this joint? Oh, uh, this your mom's joint, so yeah. you pretty much had yeah, this forever, man. Like, yeah. At least about in my possession. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had it for at least about mm, 25 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. Woo. Look at that. Yeah. You tell. That's you know what I mean. I used to love inserts like this, man. Yeah, for real. You can take it and just yeah. read it. Read it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Exactly. What else you got for me? Same thing. Rhythm Heritage. Now, for those that know who Rhythm Heritage is, the first thing that might come to mind, y'all might be thinking of things from SWAT. But, actually the joint on this joint, it's called Sky's the Limit. Mm. Same thing, popular amongst the breakers back in the early, early 80s. I used to rock this joint, all right? At the Belmont Plateau, you throw this joint on, same, <laughs> same situation. Exactly. You know what I mean? Rock the house. Okay. But we used to rock this joint right here. So school me on that one, cause you know. Well, I uh, hear the story on this. They actually 
Um, they actually used this for a rap joint back in the 80s. Crash Crew. Mm. Or Sugar Hill label. Um, for what job? Um, what was it, John? Um, yeah, you remember? I don't remember the name of the song. Um, I forget the name of the song. Crash Crew, yeah, number one. Huh. Yeah. They actually, yeah. yeah, they actually played this over, but this okay. is the original. Ah, uh, okay. So they, they There's a new kind of music that's going around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, this is the original. All right, rhythm heritage. Sky's the limit. Okay. I get, I give you that yeah. one for free. Ah, uh, you gonna give me that one for free? Yeah. <laughs> See, this is like, these are like the early days. When, okay. when we was buying joints like this, was like, yo, that's when you was like, you was buying breaks. Like he was finding records and finding that break. That might have been only a few seconds long that you extend. Right. As long as you could. Yeah. Yeah. So like bring it back, cast the yeah. rhyme over. So the like during the days of especially like breaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This okay. Was, yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you, man. I see the sticker. Sometimes you catch gems. Yeah. Cheaply. Well, you guarantee. See, this right here. See, it says a dollar ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Chances are. I bought that so long ago. Yeah, that it ain't that. That you can buy for that. So you try to get this joint now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is like they, they gonna jack the price of like that. Cause that's, that's why I pointed it out. Yeah, that this how long yeah. that you had before before the days of cats chattering about it on the net, before eBay, before you know things like that. You had to go get yours. And you had to find it. And every once in a while, you find a gym and you might find a gym for a buck. All right, so 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 peep this. When you go. And you go to the stores, and um, you know you you you're trying to find wax. How you listen to yours in the store? Well, right about now, I got this little gadget right here. Got this from Japan. All right. All right. It plays records. Looks like a toy van, right? And that's how it is. All right. Well, but this is what happens. You put it on some vinyl, I get in the stores and whatnot. All right. So you you take this to the stores with yeah, you? Yeah, I whip this little bad boy out right here. You put it on any vinyl. Right. Lift the antenna. Wow. It's playing on but it plays records, so you can hear it right from the gate. You know what I mean? And the thing is, it's small enough. They got smaller ones than these. You fit right in your pocket. Whip this joint out. Put on the record. Wow. You get to go. Let me, let me see this. Look at this, man. See. This is official right here. And it has a crotchet in the bottom of it. So wow, see? see? That's official right here. This is stuff that only a DJ who digs is going to have. Crate rate. That's how you do it. All right, so cut. This time, why don't you reach up in and just, you know, grab something real quick. Yeah, close my eyes right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that almost don't need no explanation. How no. long you had? <laughs> how long you had that one? Um. I might have had this one for like about at least, I'll say 15 years maybe. Okay. This is about using like um, weights, whatnot, you know, you can still see the uh, tags on this joint. Okay. I got this joint from a shop we used to have up that's no longer up. Uh, it's called Plastic Fantastic. Plastic yeah. Fantastic? They no longer exist though. Okay. So Dang. I'm going to look for it. They no longer exist, but I just want to mind. Over Washington Reed one day. Okay. Probably bought all this volumes and whatnot. Wow. Let's uh, check it out. Old Washington, you know what I'm saying? In the collection with some Grover. I see you say volume two. Yeah, you got volume one up in there? <laughs> Somewhere, maybe. Yeah. He, that's how he did his joints. He did, um, when he was on the, on the Kudo label, it was like, he used to do his joints in volumes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Soul box. I just look at so if you, if, you ask, if you're a digger, you know, you gotta know what this is. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's self-explanatory. Yeah. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more, man. Um. You, 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 I guess I'm going to Yeah, Very simple. I'm very big on soundtrack, especially joints from like the 60s, mm. mid 60s, early 70s. And Sean Connor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. all drama laced. Not the Roger Moore. Yeah, Sean, yeah. Sean yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Bob, true James Bond. Yeah. Even though there was a James Bond before him, but right, right. to me, he's a defender. I like player. Roger Moore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're Roger Moore. Yeah. Roger Moore, okay. Moore, but that's cool. Yeah. How long yeah. you had this joint? Oh, man. Probably 30 years plus. Wow. Yeah. When you first seen it, what you like? Oh, just, I gotta get it up. Well, it was, um, like I said, I'm really big on soundtrack. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm up in the shop, I, I used to used to go to, to the, the sound, sound uh, section yeah. and 
it's grab whatever. Plus a lot of joints like, you know, I mean everybody's seen gold phone. Mm-hmm. So it might be certain joints you actually remember. From from here and over from, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like I gotta have that. You right. Know? So yeah. Can you remember how much you paid for this? Oh uh, well, <laughs> Bro, man, we talking about. Come on, man. It's like years ago. Yeah, this joint might be older than some of the people that's watching this joint. You know what I'm saying? So, old oh, now. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, put it this way. See, the crazy thing is, you go to buy this now, it's like a lot of price. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then. But back then, it was nothing. All right, what, what's the third piece you got for me, man? My third the piece. Next, what's the next piece? The next you got piece. For me? Next piece. Right here. Right here. Now, all the b boys should know this. Mm. Right, this is Rufus Thomas. Mm. Funky Penguin, but the 45 version. Woo! Right? Now, I actually jacked, I jacked this for my mom. <laughs> okay. Great Raven. Jacked this for my mom. Rated her crate. So this has been in my possession since like mid 70s. Wow. All right. And that's why I'm keeping it on this. But the reason why the 45 is a significance to this, the drums on this, like they put it out back on like the Ultimate Breaks and the Octopus Breaks records. Mm-hmm. But it's real bass and muddy heavy. Where's so that? That's the ultimate break beat. Yes, another break beat version. But this is the four or five yeah, version. The forty five version, where I'm accustomed to hearing all the time, sounds like this. Yeah. Forty five, you can hear the drums. Mm. This is the original recording. Oh yeah, you can hear that real quick. Now the drums is. That's why I always used to like, I used to rock drums the 45 to this, yeah. you know. If you listen to the 45, the drums is more pronounced, it's more clear, it's like a better mix of it. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you cut that thing, you cut the drums, you, you know, whereas though the um, reissues, it's like real muddy and bass heavy, just, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you want to go, if you if you dig in this joint right here, you want to go with the 45. I used to have two of these, mm-hmm. I used to actually tape to the glue to the record, basically, right. the spin. Wow. You know what I mean? Glue to the actual. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Fo- oh, man. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, that's tricks. Desperate times, desperate men. Tricks to the trade. But like I said, this is actually my mom's. Uh, I, I, I mean, my mom's collection was like phenomenal. Yeah. And I know a lot of my breaks start from there. So, this has actually been in my possession since. You can remember. Mid 70s. <laughs> Wow. No, no lie, no lie. That's what I'm saying. You know yeah. what's, what's, what's funny and, and what I find that a lot of DJs like get their first records from either their parents yes. or just their first breaks. Something that they remember that was live was always something that was played in a house or something. Indeed. That, you know, yeah, indeed. That, that, that their original piece or their original piece always came from a parent. Or, yeah. or uncle, you or raiding your like that. In my case, it was always raiding my mom's collection, or like my older brothers and sisters' collection. Oh, that you see what you said, raiding. Yeah, raiding, raiding, raiding. Yeah. Raid hey, raid. listen, that's how I started, bro. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know? That's what I'm saying. All right, so since so we did, I'm gonna grab one more. Then you know, we are gonna do what we do, man. Let's see. Um, all right, I've been in this section. Cut the bit in this stay one. Stay in that section. Gonna, you wanna stay, stay in that, that one? Butter right there. Keep all right, well, I'm gonna just grab this one then. Ooh, another yes. soundtrack. Ooh, Halloween Deuce. Now, uh-huh. here's the story behind this joint. Right. I, I didn't even actually go after this joint because it was the soundtrack joint. Right. I got challenged years ago. Right. Somebody asked me like, "Yo, you think you can flip the joint to the Halloween joint?" Ah, okay. To, to like, the main really? joint. Yeah, that, yeah. So I did that. That was back in my SP12 days. Ooh. And I did a joint. Me and my um my partner back in the day, mm-hmm. uh, Lord Supreme. Right. That used to be our intro when we used to come out. Ah. Uh, used to bring him out on stage. Yeah. I did a track using the Halloween joint. Ding, 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 ding. And that's what we used to come out to. Wow. But it started as a challenge. To, oh, you can't flip. You can't flip the Halloween. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you went out with the soundtrack. So I went out with the soundtrack. Flip the joint. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. That's the story behind this. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's the, yeah. Uh, so that that's basically what it was, just the main theme. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. Although I wound up going through the whole album, mm-hmm. and it's like a lot of like eerie backdrop music. Right. right. That's like perfect for when you're doing that joint, just telling the type of story, and whatnot. Okay. It's backdrop stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Halloween so. two. Now, now, was it any difference between the, the theme in Halloween two and Halloween one? Not too much, really, because if you know, his John Carpenter mm-hmm. actually used to 
oh. produced all his music to his movies. Oh. Besides direct them, he used to do the scores too. Oh, snap. Yeah, so if you notice, if you watch any John Carpenter movie from like the 80s or whatnot, right. a lot of his themes sound sort of similar. Like okay. if you listen to this, or you listen to the music from like The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, okay. or um, the We Live, and all them joints, right. they got sort of that eerie mm. music right. to it, whatever, with the heavy bass mm. and stuff like that. And John Carpenter right. actually used to um, produce and conduct all, and compose all his music okay. you know, to his movies. Like right. something every day. Yeah, yeah so, for real. I ain't for know cats that. that didn't know, yeah. Besides directing his movies, he, did, I ain't know that. he used to do the yeah. scores from too. That's crazy. That's crazy super right genius there. Style, y'all. Yeah, super genius right there. You know a lot. Listen up. <laughs> what? One of my all-time faves, as probably for a lot of people. In the house with DJ Groot, the most appreciate you letting us into the lab, man. Word, word. You know what I'm saying? Um, official, man. We raiding crates. Oh, before I go, man, you know, gotta raid the crates. Yeah, I, I gotta raid the crates. I got something special for you. Oh, you got something special? Yeah, I got something special. Uh, special for you. I gotta raid your crates, man. This Actually, is what we do. I'm gonna give you. This is an original, man. Woo! Getting originals. Yeah, yeah. Originals. Man. I'm building up my collection, and I ain't even yeah, a DJ. Yeah, this, this was a little dusty. I did right. this joint, this is like 97. Alright. Produced by my man Vaughn Smith on it. Woo! 12 inch Yes. Alright, uh, you know what I you know exactly you know. it is. Alright, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna pass this off to you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. That's an original. Wow. Original yes. production on it. Yes, yes. So you gonna have to sign this for me then. You know what I'm saying? Wow, Vaughn Smith joint. Yes. Alright, yo. Yeah. That's on point right there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's official. We raid the crates, huh? 